Okay guys, so many of you have been sending me a lot of questions, questions with regards to nursing, nursing application, becoming a Finnish citizen, and the benefits of becoming a Finnish citizen here. And so I have promised you guys that I will be listing all down your, all down your questions and that we are going to do another sit down vlog. And in this vlog, I am going to go through all the questions. And so please keep on watching. So before we start guys, disclaimer lang ulit na all these questions I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. I'm going to answer based from my experiences and based from my own and personal observations. I am not a professional, I'm not an expert, and so you may still need to do further research about a certain topic, topic about a certain topic or a certain subject, okay? So for the first question, um, how do you call the nursing board exam of Finland? Um, in Finnish, it is called Valta Kunnallinen Loppukove or National Final Exam. It's actually quite new because during my days when I studied for BSN, we didn't had any final exam like the ones we uh, we took in the Philippines. This NLE or National Licensing Examination national licensing exam for nurses we didn't had any of that but i had a student a nursing student um back 2021 last year spring of last year and she told me that uh, they will be starting to have this final exam before they can graduate as registered nurses and so she said that the exam, this kind of final exam, have started last year. So that's 2021. It's so new here in Finland. But from what I read, they already have started this last 2019. They've been doing this pilot, pilot studies, pilot exam, and such sort. So so ilang years palang siya ginagawa dito sa Finland. And yes, okay, okay. So for question number two. When you studied BSN, did you pay for the tuition fee and if you did, how much? When I studied for BSN, I didn't pay any tuition fee because I I am holding a residence permit here in Finland. I am working, I am paying my taxes and so I didn't have to pay any tuition fee. And as I've mentioned in my previous vlog, uh, where if you have watched it, my sister came from a non-EU or EEA country. That's why she needed to pay for the tuition fee. And so if you are coming from other countries outside Europe and you're coming to study nursing here in Finland, you may need to pay for a tuition fee, okay? And if you want to know more about the tuition fee, about this, about studying bsn here in finland please refer to this website studyinfo.fi and you would be getting a lot of information from that website okay guys so you will notice that these questions aren't arranged per topic because when i've read your comments i listed all down your questions i just listed them down in no particular order okay <laughs> So yes, um, next question, is there any age limit before you can apply for nursing in Finland? So from the agency where I came from, they've set an age limit. So from 21 years old to 40 years old. So for the next question, um, how to get a European vaccination certificate? For now, here in Finland, before you can get a European vaccination certificate, you need to get the vaccine from this country. And also, for now, as far as I know, wala pa kaming system na magkakonvert ng certificate from other countries to a European certificate. I am just not sure for other European countries. But in Finland, that's the case. If you want to get a Euro European vaccination certificate, you need to get the vaccine from Finland. For the next question, um, what vaccines are accepted in Finland? So for now, nowadays, Finland is giving Pfizer, Moderna, and um, very rare, uh, Janssen and Janssen, or Janssen and Janssen, Janssen and Janssen vaccines. That's for now. Before we've also been giving AstraZeneca, but end of last year, uh, Finland have stopped giving um, AstraZeneca vaccine. But if you really want to know. 
the vaccines being accepted here in Europe, you may want to refer to our or to the THL website. So another question guys, um, how to become a Finnish citizen and what are the benefits? So first, if you want to become a Finnish citizen, you should know the Finnish or Swedish language at a satisfactory level. So if you're going to take the National Certificate of Language Proficiency or what we call YKR, YKI or Yukitesti here in Finland, you should have at least level 3 or higher. Level 3 is the intermediate level. So you should pass that YKI test before becoming a citizen of Finland. But you don't have to take that YKI test if for example, you are studying a course in a Finnish language. Like for us, when we were studying to become licensed practical nurses, the course or the degree was in Finnish, so we didn't have to take another YKI test just to prove that we know the language. And next one, to become a Finnish citizen, you should have lived in Finland for at least five years and you should have this continuous period of residence. Okay, so five years. But I remember when I, when I applied to become a Finnish citizen, I was on my fourth year and I have already started applying for, uh, for Finnish citizen and, and that was okay. The application was accepted, but when I received my citizenship, I was already on my fifth year. Also, I read that you can still apply for Finnish citizenship even if you didn't live for five continuous years in Finland, like um, an interrupted uh, period of residence, if you have a total of seven years accumulated period of residence here in Finland. And out of these seven years, you must have lived in Finland for two years uninterrupted. Some of you were asking, what if I wanted to have a vacation? Kailangan ko bang magstay in Finland ng 5 years na hindi ako umuwi or hindi ako lumalabas ng Finland? Hindi po. You can still have your vacation kung vacation lang po yun like from work. Kasi yung, yung period of residence mo naman in Finland is uninterrupted. Siguro ibang usapan siya kung nagbakasyon ka or umalis ka ng Finland ng, ng many months to a year. And syempre, to become a Finnish citizen, you should not have been found guilty of any crime and that you have met all your payment obligations like you've been paying your taxes, your child support, kung meron kang sinusuportahan na, na anak, malamang di ba child support, okay? Basta yung mga ganun po. If you want to know more about this, you may need to check migri.fi website and you will be getting a lot of information from there. And then follow-up question, what are the benefits of being a Finnish citizen? Of course, if you're a Finnish citizen, you will be holding a Finnish passport. And they say that a Finnish passport is a strong passport. And like you can enter more than 100 countries without having to apply for a visa. And also, if you're a Finnish citizen, the government cannot just kick you out of the country. Unless, of course, they really have a ground of cancelling your uh, Finnish citizenship. But if you're a Finnish citizen, priority ka here in Finland. For example, I can tell this by experience, not my own not my own personal experience, pero from friends, yung mga kakilala or relatives ng mga, ng mga kakilala ko. So, ayun, um, some of uh, when the pandemic struck Finland, there were a lot of people who got laid off from work. And um, those people were holding residence permit, but still they were sent back to their home countries because they got laid off and it affected their visa processing, basta yung mga ganon. And then they were sent back to their home country. So kung Finnish citizen ka, I think the government cannot just kick you out from Finland. So yun yung nakikita ko na super benefit of having a Finnish citizenship. So next question, can I have an advice on how can I improve and become fluent in speaking Finnish? So I've been telling this to people I know or to those 
to those who have been asking me on how they can improve their Finnish language. I would, al I would always say that start from the basic. Expand your vocabulary, memorize a lot of words, memorize a lot of basic words because for me everything starts from the basic and that's how I have started here in Finland. I have memorized a lot of vocabulary, I have memorized a lot of words, I've been reading a lot of a lot of books, I've been reading our patient's charts and jotting all down the vocabularies I can get from there and then I will be translating it to English and then I memorize. As in memorize, memorize, memorize. Vocabs, vocabs, vocabs. Because if you are going to talk to a, to a Finnish person, even if you cannot construct your sentence very well, even if your conjugations are so messed up, if you can tell that person the basic words, they can get your point. Like they can understand you just basing it from the basic words you're telling them. So that for me is very important. You really have to memorize. And also I have watched a vlog from a co-Filipino nurse here in Finland. She also has a YouTube channel and you might want to check on that. I cannot put the link because I didn't ask for her permission, but her name on YouTube is Irene T. Official. So you might want to check her YouTube channel because she talked about this, studying the Finnish language, and I think you would be learning a lot from her. So kindly check Ate Irene's uh, YouTube channel and again, uh, search from YouTube Irene T. Official. And another question, can you apply for work even if you can speak Finnish? Of course you can. Take note though that if you want to apply for work and you don't speak the Finnish language, you can only do such works that doesn't require you to converse in Finnish. Actually, I am not an expert in this field. But if you mean that you want to apply as a nurse or you want to apply to a nursing related or healthcare related uh, kind of job, I think at least the basic you should know. Because I believe for patient safety, you need to speak in Finnish. Like, how can I take care of my patient? How can I understand the doctor's order? How can I read the chart if I cannot understand or if I don't speak Finnish? So I am only speaking for my field, for the nursing field. Unfortunately, guys, I've been working as a nurse my whole life here in Finland. May mga naririnig lang ako, mga kwento ng mga kakilala ko or ng mga friends ko, ganyan na kapag IT or computer related, hindi masyadong kailangan ng Finnish, siguro basics lang, ganun, or meron namang, or meron namang IT related na English lang, okay na, makakapag-work ka na. And syempre meron ding, there are also jobs like yung cleaning, construction works, uh, stuff like that, na hindi talaga kailangan ng customer service in Finnish. So, Yes, kindly search from the internet, from Google. I also do that, guys. Especially that I am um, searching also for a job for my sister, and my sister doesn't speak Finnish. And meron at meron din naman mga lumalabas from the internet. Okay, so next question. What advice can you give to those aspiring to work as a nurse in Finland or to new nurses in Finland? Again, I think we will be going back to the language like be patient in learning the language because there are a lot of nursing job opportunities here in Finland. You'll just have to know the language because that's one requirement especially for nurses in Finland that you would be able to understand your patient, understand your colleagues, the doctors, the, the other staff. Ayun. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, so aside from patience, be motivated. Siguro, look for something that would motivate you. Ito, it's not just an advice for those aspiring to come here in Finland. It's also an advice that I always give myself to, to be motivated, to look for something that would motivate me to work, that would motivate me to go on with my life here. And also important ang social life. Especially for us who comes to Finland alone. Yeah, we can say that our friends are there, we have our colleagues and all, but our family is back there in the Philippines, is back there at home. And it's so lonely 
to be alone. So be a part of a social group. You know, can't just work and work and work. You'll also have to find time to enjoy life, like go out with friends, go travel because that's possible, especially when you're in Europe, it's possible to go travel. I'm not saying that we splurge, that we spend a lot of money. Just treat yourself, learn how to treat yourself so that you get motivated, so that you don't burn yourself out. I'm not good in giving advices, but what I'm telling you, this advice I'm telling you, is also what I always tell myself. Okay. Next. on to an important part of this vlog guys how can they apply to Finland when they are not residing in the Philippines so not just Filipinos were asking me but also some other nationalities 